He wins that back for Cork City and is fouled by Waters. Referee gives a Cork City free kick. Take and it quickly. Here's it Rory Keating for City now. Keating bearing down on goal here. Still Rory Keating. Keating! Yes! He does very, very well. That's and he wraps it goal. up. Rory Keating with a beautiful strike, slotting it past McGuinness in the Bray Wanderers goal. Puts Cork City 2 0 up in front of a packed house here at Turner's Cross. It wraps up the victory for Cork City tonight and it wraps up the league winning season for City here at Turner's Cross. He's been a great player for City this season, made a huge contribution since signing from Galway and he scored quite a few goals and that one. Here's Healy. Healy looking for McGlade. McGlade could be in here. Dylan McGlade now plays it across to Coffey. Yes. Barry Coffey into the shed end. Yes. Putting Cork City 1-0 up. Lovely play from Cork City. Lovely ball through to Dylan McGlade. McGlade, he wasn't selfish. He could have gone himself. He played it across for Barry Coffey. And Coffey, cool as a cucumber with the finish. And Cork City have taken the lead, much to the delight of the shed end and the massive crowd here at Turner's Cross tonight. Great goal. Great goal. I was very impressed with the ball McGlade sent in because you just said it as well. He could have gone on his own there and looked for the glory. It was a great ball across the box to Jan rushing um, 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 Barry Coffey. Barry Coffey, sorry. And he just slotted away coolly. The edge of the box towards Kevin O'Connor. O'Connor knocks it back to Coffey, back to O'Connor. Knocked out wide on the left, McGlade. McGlade again looking to try and take on Duffy. Slowly, slowly going at him, coming in on the inside. He's going to have a pop here, McGlade. Oh, oh what, what a goal. 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 In oh. fairness, I was just going to say, I didn't want to interrupt you. He's one man you don't want to give space to. And I was speaking to Dermot Lennon beforehand, and he, he actually alluded to that, that you've got to get tight to him. And he shows all his qualities here. Ocean Duffy's backing off, backing off. I think he should close him down, but cuts inside. Yeah, it's a great strike, great strike. You, you know, you have to credit him. You can't, you can't blame anybody there, but maybe if you're being a bit of critical there, I think Oshie needs to get a bit closer to him and don't allow him to come inside. Keep him on his left foot, keep him close to the corner flag, but you see it from behind the goal here. Yeah, yeah and you're looking at that, and they're looking to eventually build out to, to a game, and that's twice now in the last 30 seconds they've got the ball out there. They're looking for a 1v1 with Duffy, and he's going to always try and cut in. Yeah, they need to get closer to him here again. Yeah. He, you know, it's a goal. Oh, it's a goal, yeah. You could see, like, McGlade is causing all sorts of problems there, and, you know, super ball in, but... I don't know who got the final touch. Think Watch this again. Really needs to get, not being critical, Ushin is a great lad. Needs to get tighter to him there. Stopped the cross. Takes the deflection. There was a bit of a hand there, Ray. It's Barry Coffey. Barry Coffey, who's got goal. Barry I like see it from behind the goal now. But Barry scored a hat-trick against us down in um, Turner's Cross the last time we met. And Yeah, you can see Ushin. Look, Ushin is now very conscious of the fact that, that McGlade wants to cut in on the inside. Coffee, Coffee on the edge of the area. Deflected effort. Barry Coffee goal for Cork City. Barry Coffee's 12th of the season. The Nina man, pitch invasion from City. Coffee surrounded by supporters. Cork City are on the verge of claiming the SSC or Tracy League First Division. A deflected goal from the Nina man, Barry Coffee, Ollie. Yeah, look at it. It was one of those. It was just fortunate and unfortunate for Galway. It just took a wicked deflection off uh, um, the. the Cork, or the goal with the defender to, to lead to the goal but um, you know there's Cork fans there's no need for this either to come on the pitch as well you know Rolls and now in from Healy headed down into the area still not cleared ball still not away little shot good save by Paul Martin now it's in the back of the net and it's Ian Murphy who's got the breakthrough as uh, he runs over with the fans we're just 55 minutes into this game Cork have got the breakthrough yeah we're speaking about corner kicks and set pieces not being there it's got a half half cleared and uh, you know Paul Martin originally had the block but then uh, Murphy following up uh, found the, the, the roof of the net sending off so Rory Keating looking to score the winner because this will probably be the last kick of the game. Paul Martin faces him. Keating with his head down. He runs at the ball and in off the post. 
and uh, Keating has probably won this game for Cork because it was a perfectly taken penalty and the fans are on the ground they're all coming to support this is how much it means yeah, to the yeah, Kings yeah. with the uh, Cork City players the Cork players on the, on the, on the field right? but Paul Martin made a brilliant effort to try and save that penalty he, he picked the right way to dive he dived to his right but quickly the ball off the field and now all the Cork supporters invading the pitch cleared up coming Whoa. look I thought that was a bit of a push there. Penalty there for a push still there for Juna ah oh, hit it hit it Let's get the ball across. Shots for no. Hamilton. Come on! Oh, Coffee! Oh. Yes! Goal! Yes! Official's flag stays down. I thought he was offside, Rory. Myself, I'd like to see that. Cork City one, Longford Town one. Yeah. Longford Town players. I thought Not he was happy offside. with the officials. Let's look at that again, Phil. Shots for handball there first off. Last man inside there. He's the last man in there. I don't think he's offside. The ball is hit. The ball came the ball came back off the bar and hit him. But I think he was in, offside. In, in, in. Look at that rain. He's coming into the commentary box here and everything. Barbary's long throw. Flicked on and it's yes! there! Yes! Barry Coffey with Coffee. goal number two. Out of nowhere, Cork City are level, Cork City 2, Longford Town 2, Barry Coffey with his second, look at that Phil, the Last great throw. For in fairness to Coffey, he just snapped at it straight away, he was the Dangerous first to react, the and first to react, drops and Coffey toe pokes it past Dennison, great, not to be denied this time, referee awards the goal, Cork City 2, Longford Town 2, and now City have Carrington should deal with this. Coleman gets it under control. Under pressure from Abbott, though. That's good from Coleman. Getting out wide for Bargary to stretch those legs again. Bargary's done well here. Keating with a great chance. Keating! Cork City on level. Rory Keating. Bargary did all the great approach work. Really good play from Bargary. Setting up Rory Keating. And he took his chance superbly well. So, Cork City are level, and a double substitution on the way. That might change Colin's mind about being the substitution, Trevor. Um, we shall see. But like there you go, you see quality there. There's still time to win this for either side. There's the corner, and there's the leap, goal, Keating again, on the double, Rory Keating, Healy's corner, Keating leapt, unchallenged, and his header finds the back of the net, two goals for Rory Keating, and that could be the goal that wraps up the title for Cork City, it really could, because it looks like now Cork City could go seven points clear at the top tonight yeah as i said the cork city's in loose touch there now dylan mcglade is in tries playing coffee in and he does coffee's in space here only to keep it to beep oh, yes. and yes. that is a beauty from barry coffee curls it in from the edge of the box cork city won Athlone Town nil. I'd like to see the replay on this one. This is an absolute beauty, Phil. Great ball in by McLeod. Saw the space there where Coffee was running into. And just Coffee took his time and just placed it into the corner. Hurled it into the bottom corner. Barry Coffee. Former Glasgow Celtic man. His it's seventh great. goal of the season. He's oh, got the great. shed singing. Now City playing with more confidence. O'Connor. McGlade. The sister was named tonight, he'd like a goal. Gave him too much room, he gave one. him too much room. Split square, he does, and it's there, number yeah. two! Coffee again. As Barry Coffee again. Lovely work from Dylan McGlade. Plays the ball across, Barry Coffee is there for his second goal in as many minutes. Cork City two, 
Back on town there, let's see that replay for LeBlanc. Yeah, ball came out to Dylan McLeod, wrong the defender very easily, just gave him too much room, squared it across to Barry and Barry hit it first time on the volley. Great goal, great goal. Magic stuff from Barry Coffey, goal number eight for him for this. He needs to take. Floats it in. It's big, that's a good header, and that's a big yes. header. And there we are, Kean goal Coleman. number three. Captain fantastic, Kean Coleman makes it 3-0 for Cork City. Beautiful ball in from Matt Healy, and we look at that again in the replay, Phil. Yeah, it's a great Beautiful ball stuff. In. Yeah. We're looking at Josh Holohan just pounding through the defence there, and Coleman just coming in at the back. Got up very, very high for that, and just poured it into the corner. Great goal. Best stuff from the skipper, Kian Coleman, as he makes a 3 0. Yes. Probably is in disguise. <laughs> no City with a chance in the corner. It's off in the last corner, Kian Coleman headed home from a Matt Healy cross. Matt Healy with a beautiful ball, and Josh Holdahan fresh from getting his first goal for the club a couple of weeks back against Wexford, has now got his second. Cork City 4. Wexford nil. What a start to the second half. Minute gone. City four. Wexford nil. Or at low nil. He just goes to this defender there. Just left him for dead. Defender didn't know where he was and just came into the back post and just knocked it in. So cool. Got to talk about the delivery though from Healy from not just that corner, but from Keating. Eight yes. goals to his name. Can he make it nine? Can he make it five for City? Keeper is trying to put him off now with a bit of mental. Keating up against Velikin. Keating! Yes. Goal! Cork City 5, Athlone Town nil. Keating moves to nine goals in the season. That was a beauty of a penalty, Phil. Yeah, I thought it was dubious, to be honest with you. You know? But look, when you're down, you're going to be kicked down further again, aren't you? Well taken penalty by Keating. It was. I just noticed something. That it's a great place to go, Rory. Brandywell's a fantastic place to watch football. Yeah. It's one of the best fans in the country. It's all about the here and now as Corksy looks to make it six. It's teed up for coffee for his hat trick! Yes! And it's there! Yeah. Goal! Barry Coffey gets his deserved hat trick as we watch the replay here, Phil. Forced him on the edge of the box. Talk us through it, Philip. Came across the middle of the box and I think it's Keating left him run at it. He, was, he ran at that and he really wanted that goal. And in fairness to the keeper, he saved it, but he just parried it onto the post and into the goal. A great third goal for Barry. He'll be happy with that now. Matt Healy. Oh, a clever ball by Healy. And, and it's a goal for Cork City. Rory Keating with the finish on the volley. And City lead 1 0 here in St. Coleman's Park. Lovely ball by Matt Healy. Clever ball towards the near hand side. And Roy Keaton with the finish. Dar Burke didn't know whether to come or go. And the City fans have, have uh, won themselves a corner. If you can remember the last time we played these, they're dangerous from set pieces, so we, yeah, we have we, to be on our toes it, and defend it, them well. It, in Cork's 1 0 win here, it was a header that we did concede, in fairness. Yeah. Corner kick to be taken, right footed out swinger. And there is the first goal of the game, an absolutely super ball in. And once again, when a 30 count pack, Wexford FC have found themselves behind early. Just over four minutes gone, it is Cork City won with the early goal, Wexford FC nil. Didn't quite see who seemed to get the head on it, James, but in a, in a bunch of players. And Ian Ryan will not be happy with that one. It just looks soft, to be fair, you know, it, it just, it looks... 
obviously there's a big bunch of players. I don't like when we get into a bunch when we're defending. You need to hold your line and know where your man is. Um, it's number 18. Gets to, gets. Rory with the throw. Where's the edge of the penalty area? Shrevely pushes oh, that one through. Then, uh, two Pam Murphy. And that is too easy, Mick. That was really too easy for yeah, Cork. Way too easy, like, yeah. All came with throw on this Just side. Simple run in behind, and, um, yeah, he had, he had too much time to pick the pass, Vinny. He should have, that should have been pressured up right away, like. And up to then, Bray were doing quite, they were quite tidy, like, and neat, like. Just a lack of tidy, concentration. Like, yeah, lack of concentration, lack of getting tight to the player. He let him turn, he had plenty of time to pa pick the pass. And it was a great little run in, like, and he's keeping the game. Cork would love to get a second here and cruise the second half. Oh, oh that's it. Oh, right on half time. Yeah. And the ball's in the back of the net. McGuinness couldn't hold the first effort. And the yeah. ball went loose. And it was put into the back of the net. Very disappointing from the keeper there, Vinny. Oh, that was, yeah, Stephen, yeah. you'd expect better from him. I said earlier, it's a bad time to give away a goal right before half time. The last, they've gone in a bit down in the heads now after the good half. And, um, yeah, that's a very disappointing. Yeah, you'd expect Stephen to hold that one. Oh, that's a great header by Knight there to get it out. He got up high to get to that one. He did, it was a great header. Doing it now down this left hand side. Still has the ball, right footed, third to go. McGuinness drops it again. Oh. And it's into the back of the net and the goal is given. Well, that was another mistake by the goalkeeper. Yeah, terrible mistake this time. Terrible what mistake by thinking? the keeper. It's two in a row from like an hour. He was looking where he was going to put the ball before he even got it. I think he was he a bit surprised. Him. Yeah, it looked like he was very surprised with the ball. And he just didn't have the hands, quick hands to grab it, like, you know, and just bounce. Similar to the second goal, he just bounced off his chest. It was a harmless looking ball that went in, really. Yeah. I think at the same time. Last season. And he, he, he was excellent and probably got a move to Cork out of it. But a very tricky customer on his day. Cork City corner then comes in. 3D have to defend this one. It goes out to the edge of the box. That one is whipped in. And it winds up in the net. It's put in the net by Kevin O'Connor. But the initial shot came in from Kean Bargary. From the corner kick that came across <laughs> from Matt Sorbel. Treaty seemed to have dealt with it and out it came and bundled to the back of the net. And Cork City enjoy a 1 0 lead here, Tommy. Yeah, it was uh, when it came out, I, I don't know who got the shot in initially, but I think it was Joel Costrain swung his leg at it. Now, whether it was going wide or not, I don't know, but in swinging his leg, it did come at him very at pace. It cleared back there by Treaty United by Callum McNamara, but two players coming together. Joe Collins and Stephen Christopher didn't get their calls right. Apologise to one another. But meanwhile, Cork City raid again. This one is floated in. Connor Wynn gets a fist to it. Or does he? He doesn't get a fist to it. And it goes into the net. And that one must uh, must have been a keeper's ball, Tommy. Yeah, I think I think he's come for it. But, <clears throat> I mean, it's come from Joe Collins and Stephen Christopher in the middle of the park. Well, 10 yards outside their own box. Uh, nobody calling for the ball. Two of them there, losing possession. Cork get it wide and get the cross in. And Conor Wynn has come for it and uh, hasn't got there. And I don't know who, but was it Keen Murphy? Takes it back from Coleman. Treaty under a bit of pressure here. It could be a third for Cork City. It's touched away by Rory Keating when the ball came in from the right hand side and Keating gets his seventh goal of the campaign one of those from the penalty spot but uh, he won't get an easier one than that Tommy Lynch as the ball was no. swung in from the right Treaty without a player, down a man and it's 3-0 to Cork City and the points you would say yeah. even though it's only the 42nd minute here at the Marcus Field, look firmly in the back I think it's, it's to be honest I think it's harsh on Treaty uh They've played reasonably well. That they've met a Sarbel already on the score sheet tonight. Well stood up by Callum McNamara. 
treaty needed that to happen, but they're not out of the woods yet as Aaron Bulger comes forward for Cork City and gets in a shot which beats Connor Wynn, and that's 4 0 for Cork City. And Aaron Bulger given the freedom, really, Tommy, to uh, ramble into the edge of the box and then bury the ball in the net. Yeah, and unfortunately, that's come from an overhit corner kick by Treaty that ended up nearly on the far over touchline and uh, Cork were the ones to react to that even though Treaty have a couple of players at the back it was a Cork fella that ran from his own box out to the far touchline and that's where I did pass the man first but uh, while he was getting his head up to see what he was going to do with the next touch set the, the Cork lad was back in and around him uh, taking it off him and our win takes the touch poor delivery from him in Cork City could avail of that and they have 5-0 a mistake by the goalkeeper right. and it's a, it won't get an easier goal than that Derek Crowley off the bench early in the second half and yeah, adding to his tally for Cork City got the winner uh, down at Turner's Cross on Friday night oh, against Cove Ramblers, Ramblers. but uh, that was the handiest one that he'll ever took away Tommy Lads, I, again I mean I've said it in the first half that Treaty were guilty of coughing up chances and coughing up goals and Tris Trade an angle for a shot, he gets the shot off, but again Sean McGrath, who has been pinched for a lot of the match. Absolutely so far. Yeah. In, but still good city, Bargary. Tries putting into the back post and he finds the back post. That should be a goal for Cork City, and it is! That is the opening goal! Darren Crowley just on the pitch with the opening goal for the Rebel Army. Cork City won. Cove Ramblers nil. That was just what the doctor ordered here at Turner's Cross. Inspired impact sub from Colin Healy on the pitch just two minutes. Possibly his first touch. Slots it into the back of the net. Cork City have had to work hard to have, but they're finally ahead. They are, and in fairness, it's been coming. You know, you, you spoke about the change by Colin Healy. Uh, he's made for Longford Town, the man wearing the armband this season, of course, and he took on the responsibility of the shot from range there. Almost uh, paid dividends. Quick throw in from Cork City. It's picked up by O'Connor. Plays it back down the line here for Bargary. Bargary never afraid to carry the ball. Great shot! What a goal for Bargary! 1 0 Cork City. Stunning strike. 25 yards out. And that curled in brilliantly. Stunning goal for Cork City. We did mention it earlier, Tony, though, that uh, Longford were allowing a little bit too much free time and space on the edge of the area. But they've got a couple of players around Bargary here. And uh, he's just breezed by the like of McMenemy there. And he's whipped his foot right around that one. And uh, Luke Dennison with no chance in the Longford town. Now, that's an absolute stunner from Bargary. And it's 1-0 to Cork. Checks out and shows a nice bit of skill. United with the challenge from Hurley. Bulger with a knee touch. Wide left to Kevin O'Connor. O'Connor inside to Healy. Healy digs out a shot. Fine effort from Matt Healy. Cork City hit the front, courtesy of a sweet strike from Matt Healy. Oh, that was as good a goal as you'd see. He had the opportunity. He didn't think twice about it, and he struck a beautiful shot from, I'd say, all of 25 yards. That guy, Connor Kearns, really was uh, struggling to get to all the time. But it was a well crafted goal, patience from the front runners, the support from the midfielder, and a sweet strike as you've seen in the ground for a long time. So that's putting it up to the goal regions now. Uh, not the start that they would have wanted, but it's going to examine their car. Very, very Keating. low on that, Rory. Back to Keating. He's got a spot for Bulger. Shoot I hear someone say. Packing it. Back to Murphy. It's clear. Only as far as O'Connor takes the shot. Oh what yes! Goal! Yes! Wow! What a goal from Kevin O'Connor! Cork City won! What for Mill? What a strike! Talk us through that Phil! He met with that in the half volley there, Rory. You see ball just bouncing. And then he left fly. What a volley. Oh, what technique that was from Kevin O'Connor. And what a goal that is to put Cork City ahead. Cork City won. Wets for nil. 22 and a half minutes on the clock. And that Philip Long is a beauty. Oh, great goal. A set piece from this kind of a dangerous area. And usually his deliveries are spot on. So one hand signal goes right into the middle of the box and the header's down, that's a one all. The header there by, I think it's Murphy, is it, the header? Yeah, it must be Murphy, yeah. Here we go, yeah. replay, Gordon. 
look who's on him. Yeah, yeah Murphy, Murphy the header, yeah. 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 Just gets up first. Yeah. Again, you go back to the free kick, needless free kick to give away. You know, he's going nowhere. He's away from goal near the corner flat. And as you said earlier on about the, the set players, Gordon, you know, they have been... They've been excellent all season, Cork City. Ramblers in the other games in the first division. Um, with two minutes left here. Cork City doing all the pressing at this stage. Ten man at loan. Sitting back. And the chance for Bulger with the longer strike. And that's a great goal oh, for what Cork a City. Strike. What a strike. What a strike. 93rd minute for Cork City. You can't take away the quality of this strike here, Gordon. Yeah, just you can see Conley did such a fatigue. You just can't get across yeah, it. He picks his spot. It's brilliant. It's a brilliant effort. You see how, yeah. what that means to Cork City down there in front of us on your monitor. The Cork City fans down to a right. 93rd minute. Pulger, to be fair, for his performance. You can't say he didn't deserve a goal out of this. But, uh, and they haven't bled well, Gordon. And, and no. But well, no. listen, that's why they're top of the team. Healy plays the ball forward to Murphy. Murphy up against Gearns. Looked like he was pulled onto the floor there, was uh, Murphy. Murphy didn't uh, see it as a free kick. Good, powerful header there from Jonas Hakkinen. Beats Matt King to the ball. Now Cork City can attack. It's Keating. Tries to shape up for the shot. He does. He takes a shot. Yes. What a goal that is from Rory Keating. 25 yards. Beats Jack Brady. Cork City won, 3D United nil, and that is exactly what Cork City needed. What a goal that was from Rory Keaton. Unbelievable goal, great goal. Great work rate right out of Keen Murphy as well, in fairness. Held up the ball well. And that's not the end of it, Rory, I don't think. Colin Healy making the attacking changes. Bringing on Keane Bradbury and Keane Murphy paying dividends just after just a couple of minutes. And here's the goal scorer, Keating again. Not much ahead of him. Has to go on his own. And that's a fine tackle there from Joe Collins. Playoff bottle back to Healy. Yes. And it's two! Cork City two. Shreve United now. Two goals in the space of 60 seconds. And out of nowhere. Cork City in the driving seat. Cork City 2, 3 to United 0. Keating's ball to Matt Healy. Two more goals this afternoon. Four against Longford on Friday. And nowhere than that is, does this Cork City team. And there's more. There's more to come, Rory. 3 to United came down here to, to sit in and look for a point. They now find themselves two down. It's Murphy. Can Cork City make it three? Ball played back across. Bradbury, can he set himself up for a shot? He can, and it's three! Goal for Cork City! Kean Bradbury takes the shot through the hands of Jack Brady! Cork City three, three to United nil. That is that, Phil. Three goals in his place for a couple of minutes for the Rebel Army. Magnificent stuff.
Dobre, čau. From there, Trevor, you mentioned that they haven't been conceding goals. You know, they're four clean sheets away from home. You know, that's the that's the platform you build a successful side from. Got a possession for Cork City. Can they turn it into something meaningful here? They can. City have hit the front. Scored by Rory Keating. He's been the man on form this season. And he has fired Cork City in front in less than a quarter of an hour. Well, he has been impressive for Keating. I think that's his sixth league goal of the season and uh, a good ball in there and uh, he took it well. He did, he did. It was a great finish, great ball in from the right and he just kind of prodded it home. But he Kevin O'Connor and uh, kept alive again by Matt Healy. Now, Ian Barnsley taking on his man here, getting through two of them, but uh, door is closed. But uh, it's there again to be hit. Oh, what a goal. Matt Healy has repeated the trick. Super goal in Waterford on Monday. Super goal at St. Comas Park tonight in this local derby outside of the boot. And you could see it from where we were sitting, John. That was going into the back of the net all night long. The minute it left his foot, Trevor, we were looking at it, we were directly behind it. You can see the angle. Unfortunately for Andy O'Donoghue, he had no chance of getting it. It was a great strike. He's on the up. His confidence is booming. He scored a great goal last week. And then a super goal from, from Matt Healy. Super goal. Opportunities in the space of a minute. The best that Cork City have offered in the second half. And they can put more pressure on Cove here with this corner kick. Good delivery to Dangerous. Oh, yes, it's a goal. And it's scored by Kian Coleman. And he is swamped by the Cork City fans behind the goal of Antonio Donahue. Kian Coleman rose with a powerful header. Unstoppable, really. O'Donoghue had no chance with that. And that's what he's really good at, Kian Coleman. Timed his run to perfection. Really good header. And Cork City are back in front. Yeah, super goal, super header. Did really well to get back the back post. Good steady tackle that time from Killian Cantwell. Oh, what a goal. Oh, oh superb shot. Brian Murphy, no chance. And uh, no Matt, chance whatsoever. Matt Healy is the man that gets on it. Blocked out by uh, my view here by the pillar. Missed it. But uh, again, against the odds, hit it as sweet as a nut. So, first real opportunity for Cork. It's yeah, the first attack of note, really. Healy, the goal scorer, gone out. Can't beat the old monster derbies. Healy now puts it in on towards the goalkeepers. Oh, power to the back of the net. And it looks like it's Gilchrist is after getting the goal. So Ali Gilchrist. Just as Waterford got back on level terms, Cork back in front. Oh, Waterford would be so disappointed. Had got a foothold in the game and then concede a goal. The first corner kick that Cork City got in the game. To concede a goal from a set piece is totally and utterly heartbreaking for Warford. They showed so much spirit to get back into the game, but then could not defend uh, the first corner kick that Cork City got in the game. Yeah, you 
Cute. attacks being started from the Cork backline as well. Cork with a throw to be taken by Keen Bar Gary. Looks to go straight into the box. A lovely run in. Back to Keane, who's looking going to deliver. It's a great ball, ball into the middle of the box. Knock on header. And that's one nil to Cork City. Yeah. Yeah. An that's absolutely it. superb header. Probably shouldn't have been a free header in the middle of her box, but unfortunately that is the first goal of the night here. I didn't see Aiden who it yeah, seems to Keane be. Yeah, it's Keane Murphy. Uh, he scored his first one against that loan last week and now he's he's doubled up and it's it's a decent header, but I think Paul Murphy or Paul Hunt will be pretty disappointed with his position in there. Yeah. Probably you're the goalkeeping coach, you'd know exactly how to, to deal with that, but Yeah, well, uh, we'll have a, we'll have a quick look at it. I just think it yeah, look if look if you're if you're the goalkeeper there, I don't think it can be it can be happening. Spell with a club, former Mayo into county goalkeeper. Ball now with Bargrave. City left to mount another attack. That's Keating in here. He's behind. And he's going to get the shot in. He can. That's going to be 1 0 for Cork City. Goal! Cork City 1. Athlone Town 0. Rory Keating. We didn't think he was going to start. He has done. He's been extremely lively. And he has scored. Cork City 1. Athlone Town 0. And that was a big mistake there between Van Geen and Stringerman. Uh, it was a great ball in by Barkery. He split the defence with that ball straight through. It was great. And, and the coolness of Keating to, uh, to just go around the keeper and just tap it in into an empty net. But looking at him last week, Rory... Uh, so Shin Duffy there just rolled the ball away from uh, the ball placed down by Keating. It's not on the spot, so... It, it, as long as a tiny part of the ball is touched, I think you're OK. Yeah. Very far forward now. It's Keating versus Schlingerman. And he steps up. Rolls it into the bottom corner, sends Schlingerman the wrong way. Cork City 2, Athlone Town 0. Cork City cruising here at the cross. 18 minutes gone, City 2 0 up. You couldn't ask for much more, Phil. No, you could not. In fairness, no, you could not. You know, it's it's great to watch it, Rory. Thank God we're not Athlone supporters. Keating now on a hat trick. Scores his fourth goal of the season. Big hello to all the Athlone Town supporters watching on LOI TV. It's still on. They're not going to do it, but it it, you could still do it. It's two against one. Yep. Kevin O'Connor puts it into his horse, big Ali Gilchrist, and it's there. It's Cork City three. Murphy. Athlone Town nil. Ali Gilchrist header back. Finds Keane Murphy unmarked. A yard out. Not even I would miss that one, Phil. <laughs> Cork City 3, Athlone Town 0. And this, you would imagine, Phil, is three points for Cork City. Oh, definitely. Definitely. I mean, when you, it was a great cross in by O'Connor, and unselfishly, Gilchrist hit the ball across. And it was just a tap in then for Murphy. Keeper was beaten. He's going to throw this long. Gilchrist lurking there. Right on the penalty spot. Hackling near post. Season. Cork City 4. Athlone Town 1. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it was a good goal, to be honest with you, Rory. But Schillerman, the goalkeeper, should have done better. The ball was in the air for a long time, and he had plenty of time to go for that. Inside in the six yard box. That's a keeper's ball all day long. Martin Russell would be disappointed with that goal. What a player Barry Coffey is though in general. Oh, he's doing very well. He's working very hard tonight. Seven minutes gone at the... And now an opportunity for Cork City to break. Good play here by City. Defending to do that one. is hit smartly and it finds the back of the net. Barry Coffey was given oceans of space there and Barry Coffey didn't need a second opportunity and inside three minutes Cork City have taken the lead here uh, through the United's defence exposed and Coffey, uh, Tommy just burying it uh, into the uh, left hand corner of the net giving Jack Brady no chance but he really had the freedom of the park in the build up He did indeed and uh, a great run by Rory Keating really took it on his own halfway line and drove at the 3D defence or two centre halves up on the halfway line and attacking it from there but City, uh, City break now and a good ball out here to the left to Cian Bar to the right to Cian Bargery lines up a shot and buries it Cian Bargery 
buries it again Treaty United backed off and there was little Jack Brady could do probably similar to the first goal the other side of the goal but Bargrave making it 2-0 to nil for Cork City in the 26th minute at the markets field and uh, Tommy no excuses on this occasion Treaty United affording a lot of space to Cian Bargrave and he availed it great finish super finish again but I mean when you look back at it Leonard the Cork player picks it up on the half this Cork City performance Price is really strong there's Bargrave again and an opportunity now for Kean Murphy right inside of the penalty box drills one in low Bargrave can't get a touch to it gets a tour it looked as if he got it at a third attempt it fell between him and the defender from that cross by Kean Murphy and Kean Bargrave there to get his second in Cork City's third goal just on 35 minutes here at the Marcus Field and you really sense that Treaty United are in bother now Treaty players suggesting that uh, there may have been shades of a handball uh, in that attack but the referee was well positioned not giving anything yeah but you still got to play to the whistle He did the other night. Uh, well, this one comes off the crossbar. Brady and Hackenden is there to put it home. And uh, really, Tommy, that looked as if the goalkeeper was caught in two minds. Didn't know where the ball was going. Didn't get a touch to it. Touched it ultimately off the crossbar. Yeah. And Hackenden uh, was in the right place. Buried it. 4 0 Cork City. Yeah, it was unfortunate. I think it's gone up into the air. And he caught a few of them earlier on that just dropped in front of him. But this one, unfortunately, hit the crossbar and bounced out. But the one thing about it you can say is that Hackenden has reacted before any treaty player has reacted. Nolan again. Puts his left back Malambo. Joshua. Nolan again. And Nolan slips. And it's Keating. He's in. He's only got the keeper to beat. Can he do it? He takes a shot. Yes! And it's in! Yes! Goal! Rory Keating! Back of the net, Cork City won, war for nil, fantastic stuff. You call it, Phil, you call it. Big mistake by Nolan, uh, Rory, big mistake. Waterford was spreading the ball around, passing it seemingly comfortably enough. Ball played to Nolan, ball got stuck under his feet. Keating nips in, takes it past him, looks up. He's marking no one there, no look. Ball spoon forward by Crowley. Or by Coffey, excuse me. Here's Keating. Back stick. Yes, it's a goal! Oh, City 2. Waterford, man. What a spell this is for the Rebel Army. That is a fantastic couple of minutes, Phil. Cork City 2. Waterford, man. Here you go. Unbelievable. Again, Joshua got wrong to there very, very easily. You were just spoken about it. You know, very easily. He should have he should have body checked uh, Keating that time. Um, yeah, this is fantastic stuff. Three minutes after Rory Keating put the Rebel Army ahead, Gilchrist Hacken and Coleman. Three centre backs have gone forward now, They're and they up. don't seem to be marked. Cove seem to be doing uh, marking Zona area. Lurking. Barry Coffee lurking on the edge of the box as a corner plays it yeah. in, and it's a goal for Cork City. Ali Gilchrist with his first goal for the club a header for close range from Kevin O'Connor's corner 14 minutes on the clock Cork City won Cove Ramblers nil and we talked about set pieces Phil that was perfect that was perfect but, but Rory I can't understand Cove Ramblers are a small side and, and they were doing zone defence with three big centre backs coming at you at pace they're going to gain momentum with a, with a big leap it's just, it's just. It is. Big long throw. Healy. Nice oh. ball into Keating. And yes! it's the first turn out to Cork City. Yes. Oh, sorry, Flag. The flag stays down. Cork City 2. Cove Ramblers nil. Ian Murphy with the final touch. Ball played into Rory Keating. Finds its way 
to Kieran Murphy who slides the ball against the toe on it puts it past Andy O'Donoghue he dived at that one there Rory very brave out of him to get it I thought it was gone when it went through um, uh, indeed I did Harrington. indeed I did and he only found himself in goal filling in for Douglas Hall at the age of 14 he originally was a midfielder the ball breaks here for Dylan McGlade and Dylan McGlade puts it past Stephen McGuinness as he comes off his line and it's the first goal of the game for Cork City Bray appealing for offside there. It's just a long punt down the field by Harrington. Helped on with a header. Bray, when appealing for offside, it seemed to stop. And Dylan kept moving. Josh, you always heard the story. Play the whistle. And that's the way it should be. Play the whistle. Yeah. And if they don't, they're going to be punished. And punished they are. Very simple goal. Very simple goal, Vincent. So former Bray... So free to Cork, 10 yards inside their own half on this side of the field. Right towards the penalty area, Douglas gets up, gets ahead on it, gets it halfway clear. Falls to Barry Coffey. Coffey on the edge of the penalty area, he's going right, turns, has a shot, and he scores. Oh, he beats Steve McGuinness at his near post. Oh, McGuinness won't be happy with that one. He made his way across the penalty area, turned and shot, and the ball's in the back of the net. So after 56 minutes here at the Carlisle ground, it's Bray Wonders nil, Cork City 2. Josh? Well, Vincent, we've got some idiots running onto the pitch now, which the referee again is not happy with. But look, at it, it was a poor goal from a defensive point of view. Because he ran across the box, as you say. The players were tracking it, but nobody's really putting any pressure on the ball. And, you know, Corley with the air. It's a left footer, too, and the players in around Stephen, putting pressure on Stephen to try and block him from coming out. Short one taken this time. Oh, and that one in from the right, and that is in the back of the net. Oh, dear me, two goals in the space of a minute. I think it's Barry Coffey again, is it? Yes. Barry Coffey again, yeah. Neat little header. Granny was no more people running onto the pitch, or fools running onto the pitch is all I could say. They should be just taken and left outside the gate for the rest of the evening. Again, Vincent, short, short corner kick back out. Nobody went out to put pressure on the ball. It was a, a good ball in, but we spoke of it in the first half. Barry Coffey got in between the, the centre halves there. No. Nope. here. Look, goals change games, Vincent. We get a goal now. Hopefully, it'll bring us back into the game. Well, don't they say 2 0 is the worst lead you can have? Or a dangerous lead to have? Ball on, ball through the middle this time. And it's fallen for oh. Dylan McLean. And McLean has scored his second goal of the game. That's three goals in three minutes for Cork. What's happening here at the Carolina Grounds, Josh? What's gone wrong? Straight from his hip off again, Vincent. Bray weren't even organised. Defence were asleep. Get the ball away and it's straight ball through, the through the middle. The middle. Yeah, stick through the middle. McLeod ran onto it. Great finish again, but that same in the first half, Vincent. Ball straight through the middle. Central defenders too wide apart. Former Seagull, before he signed for Cork in 2020. He was named in the 2019 PFAI Team of the Year. Deservedly so after 11 goals and 3 assists for Bray in 31 games. Here's McLeod through again through the Bray defence. Chips Stephen McGuinness and that's in the back of the net. And now it's 5 0. An excellent finish there again with Vincent. The Bray defence were absent. That's 4 goals in 5 minutes, Josh. It's certainly falling asunder here at the Carlisle Grounds. Not a great start to the new era. And I'll tell you, Pat Devlin won't be a happy camper at the end of this. No, again, this is someone, idiot thrown a, a flare on. To get a result tonight, and it's not the result they really wanted. No, uh, not a for performance either, Vincent, but I think what you're saying there, you know, tells its own tale. New players, new management. Yeah. It's going to take a while. Rory Keating, is it, yeah? Rudy Keating yeah. again over the head of Stephen McGuinness into the goal. Becoming yeah. a bit of a route, Josh. A real, real route. Yeah, it just took a terrible deflection there off Huey Douglas. So again, Stephen had no chance. But again, down that left side, playing in through the channels. Nobody picking him up. Uh, it's an easy strike. But not the start any team would have wanted. Vincent, certainly we didn't want it here in Bray tonight. 
they're 